All right, we're getting to do, ready to do a live demo here with Appian. So tell me the hardest part of the live demo, Malcolm. The hardest part, surprisingly, is the Wi-Fi connection here at the conference, <laughs> because everything I'm going to be doing is over a web browser. So hopefully it all works out. And to bypass that, I'm actually going to be tethering from my iPhone instead. So a little bit faster than the Wi-Fi if you haven't seen that trick. But uh, if you haven't seen a low-code application development platform, it's a great thing to see. It's a great solution for those long-tail applications you need to get to. Crank out a solution for your enterprise in less than five minutes, all running on the AWS platform. Yeah. All right. So no pressure, but this is going to be live. <laughs> and he's going to be tethering off of his iPhone as a backup. So it's bound to be interesting, folks. Come on in. Appian's about to do a live demonstration right here. You're welcome to bring your drink. And you're welcome to bring your dessert and come in and take a seat. Uh, sure, whenever you are. All right, so please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. You're small but mighty. I need to hear you scream. From Abby and Malcolm Ross. All right. So I'm not sure how many of you actually worked with a low-code application development platform before? Pe no, certainly not the Pega guys. No, the Pega guys don't qualify. But anyways, why do you even need a low-code application development platform? So if you look at what's going on in the marketplace today, although there's over 40,000 people here at this conference, there's still not enough developers to satisfy the demands of their CEOs and CFOs and chief operating officers out there for new digital solutions. So what we really have to do is kind of will the digital, know will the digital economy create a developer shortage, which we see right now. We can't get the solutions out fast enough. So what does your enterprise look like when you have a challenge of not being able to satisfy your business with enough business applications because your developers are backlog? Well, tell me if this picture looks familiar. So imagine, so who's IT, who's the business here? So I'm thinking that on the right-hand side here is IT, controlling the chaos of the business users, making sure applications are well-scaled, well-developed, run on a cloud architecture inside containers. But you have the citizenry, the business, the business owners of your enterprise who are demanding new business applications. They want it fast, they want freedom, they want digital solutions as quickly as possible. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna rely on 3GL development, you're gonna rely on traditional application development, which just continuously, continuously makes that backlog impassable. So, low-code platforms, you haven't seen these before, it's a visual paradigm. It allows you to take less skilled users, less skilled developers to build applications that SaaS your business users. So of course, it's a visual paradigm for drag and dropping building an application. It can build apps up to 20 times faster using less skilled 3GL development. But if you're a 3GL developer, you want to add to this. So I want to add the capabilities and extension uh, tools. You can actually jump in using Java and other 3GL development technologies to extend the smart service library that's allowed to orchestrate inside the system. So you can actually, a developer can assist the low-code developers for building more extensive applications faster. And of course, you can also use things like Amazon Lambda services and other IoT services and cognitive services to also enhance those low-code applications. So let's see it. So I promise a live demo, either going to be a disaster or a success here. So this is the Appian Design Time Experience. I have just three sample applications inside of here, but I'm going to build a new application from scratch. Do we have any volunteers or what I want to call it? It's going to be kind of a case management application. And let's say... Uh, the first thing I want to do here is create something from my application wizard. So the application wizard is the easiest way to build an application in the Appian product in less than five minutes. If you happen to be on stage at the Amazon re event, suggest you use the wizard. But let's go ahead and choose my data source. We can have a number of data sources connected. So here I'm going to just choose one of my Java, Java JDBC connections. Hit continue. And now I'm going to say, well, what's my application called? Support ticket management is my recommendation. It makes sense pre-programmed a few things here in my cache of the uh, operating system. So I'm going to say, let's say that's going to be support ticket management. So instead of buying service now or other kind of ticketing system, I want to build a custom application for handling support tickets for my business. So let's go ahead and say, I'm going to call this a support ticket. And of course, the plural already determined that support tickets for me. So what's a support ticket comprised of? So I need to define now the key attributes of my specific application as far as the data attributes inside of here. So I need to define those support tickets. So I'm going to have a title already. I need to capture a description inside of there. That's going to be a paragraph field. I'm going to also capture maybe a, uh, let's see here, like the priority, the status, say the date received. Make that a date operator. Make the owner of the ticket. I'm going to make that a user. 
And then also, well, wouldn't it be great if I had support that gets actually related to the products and customers of my business? So if you already built existing data sources, we can tap into those data sources and say, well, here is the customer for. This is an existing record that Appian recognizes. And I can go ahead and choose that record right here and say, well, let's look up that existing record library, type in the word customer here. Wi-Fi connection, come on, come on, there we go, all right. Update that field. And now let's also say, well, my support tickets are also related to my products I offer. So I'm going to say product as well, make that a record. And again, hopefully that Wi Fi is going to kick in for me. Product. There we go. Update those fields. So it looks good. I defined the key attributes of my support ticket. I have some nested relationships here from my support ticket to my customer and my products. And of course, I can also preview this. So what's it going to look like when I actually deliver this application? So here I have a basic web form inside of the environment. Title, date, status, priority, description, all those fields I wanted to define. I can also play with it here so I can say, well, what happens if I start searching for a customer? It's going to query that database for me. It'll have me intelligent drop down pickers auto be built for the environment. Come on, Wi-Fi, there we go. Choose one of my customers that it relates to. If this looks good, hit close. I'm done. Hit continue. Last thing I need to define now is just who's going to get this application. So I have my own name filled in here, but I need to also share this with, say, Karen Anderson, who leads my support team, as well as, say, um, go to that search, James Baker. And I need to choose maybe an icon to represent this. So maybe a, a raised hand as a support ticket makes sense. Create that application. So as I hit that Create Application button, what's happening behind the scenes is actually going compiling all the CRUD. Create, read, update, delete for that database. It's building a relational database behind the scenes, creating the process actions, the user interfaces, the business rules, and a pre-scripted solution for handling that new case of support tickets. So while this is building, it takes about two minutes. So we'll transition, talk a little bit about what customers use the Appian platform. So Appian's used by primarily Global 2000s to rapidly build solutions, such as, did you know, the back office operations of the Affordable Care Act are powered by the Appian product. FDA regulation of back office systems as well. Rider Trucks uses full lifecycle truck management, truck rentals. SAP Global Market Intelligence uses us for all the uh, customer calls or the solutions for analyzing 10Q, 10K reports. Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the world's largest commodity exchange, uses us for new product development. Johnson Johnson for new product introduction. Uh, Pacific Life for insurance uh, claims management. Aviva for claims management as well. So it's a wide variety of applications you could possibly use the solution for. And why they rely on it, of course, is the entire Appian platform is certified for FedRAMP 2.0, DISA compliance, Cloud Security Alliance, HIPAA compliance, PCI compliance, of course, and all other key certifications. We also offer the entire cloud platform to active, active, high availability with a 15-minute RTO RPO. So guaranteed uptime, no, no outage guarantee or more than 15 minutes no matter what with global availability of all your solutions you built. And of course, we process over 78 million cases for some of our customers like the Affordable Care Act. So let's go see. Application's done. It's like a cooking show. But this, instead of like the pre-baked oven, this actually just did cook. So let's go ahead. Uh, Click on the application side of here, and there it is. So now I can create new support tickets. My first ticket. Go ahead and choose, okay, the status is plan, priority is medium, this is the first one. Need to go into, say, the owner is gonna be myself. All mock industries, he's related to a brother printer, because everyone loves those brother printers. And of course, Appian ships with a full document management system as well, so I can also store documents inside the system. Version control those documents right here as well. Upload speed, not too bad. Let's go ahead and submit that support ticket as well. So once that's done, go ahead and submit that. Action's completed. I can go track now all my support tickets inside the system. So there's my first support ticket. I can see what's going on, filter by specific support tickets I have inside the environment. If I need to maybe assign a task to someone, the context of that now, I can come in and say, do an ad hoc task assignment. Say, again, just assign to myself for convenience here. And ask for a deadline for an ad hoc task inside the environment. As I submit that, 
action complete successfully. And there we go. I can go ahead and refresh my page, and I can see all the related actions that individual support ticket. So right away, less than five minutes, you have a nice support ticket application-based system. I also have detailed logging of all the activity history that goes on to every single ticket inside the environment, so I can go see exactly what's going on. But of course, what you're saying is, well, yeah, that's simple. I built a basic CRUD with an ad hoc task. Great. So how useful is that? Well, let's go into the full design time experience then. So if you need to kick it up a notch, and say, well, I need to have complex rules, complex decisions, I need to have complex routing logic to satisfy my business. This is the application I just built in front of you. So it has all these, say, 82 different design objects for actually constructing the application. If I want to jump inside of here and say, modify things like, I want to create a new support ticket, this is the CRUD process that was just created from that ad hoc uh, or that quick, quick app integration or a quick app builder. So one second. Again, Wi-Fi, don't fail me now. And of course, as you see, the, the full design time experience, all the IDEs are full web-based. So there's no actual download module whatsoever. You can use any web browser to build an application in the Appian platform. So here I now see the low-code designer for the process modeler. I have a lot of control here. It's BPMN 2.0 compliant. So you can come and say, drag and drop, and say, I want to add maybe some user input to activities inside of here. Maybe also need to send an email to someone at a, maybe every time a support gets created, just simply drag and drop that send email node. Now this library of services, you can also use some of our integration capabilities. So maybe I need to make a BAPI call to SAP right here, or maybe you need to simply call a web service query database. If you see components on the right, left-hand side that aren't represented that what you want, you can actually extend these as well using Java OSGI. So I can add my own 3GL smart services so the low-code developers can very quickly orchestrate those. Now, if I jump into, say, the send email configuration here, once I have those deployed as these intelligent smart services, everything is point and click, easy setup, intuitive design. So for the email example, who's it going to be from? Who's it going to be to? What's the subject of it? Have an email template as well to define exactly how I want to send that out to the, uh, to the recipients of that email. But that's just one of the design time experiences. If I go into the full designer, I can also do data type design, data modeling, process design, as I mentioned before, user interfaces, expression rules, which are capturing algorithmic rules, or decision tables using DMN-based decision modeling, uh, constant values, query rules, as well as integrations of back-end systems. You can also build custom web APIs to your applications on the Appian platform. So for example, I want to have a, another application query Appian and say, what are all the support tickets inside your system? So I'm going to say, get support tickets do a git action on the HP method, call it support. And again, we're going to have a low code designer. Block my pop-ups there. So as I set this up, it's going to ask me, well, what kind of uh, template do you want to start from? So maybe I want to start from querying a data store or a record type. So let's go ahead and say query a specific data store. We'll say the ST uh, data store entity right there. Hit generate, and there it is. So now I can hit test requests. And in my Web API designer, I can then see the results. And then there's that support ticket right there in a JSON formatted code. So very quickly, I can build Web APIs, run the Appian product, and then integrate third-party applications to the solution I just built as well. So if you'd like to learn more about the Appian product, I think I'm right at the mark of my, actually, ahead of time, built in less than 10, 15 minutes. But uh, if you join us at Booth 441, we're going to have uh, free trials, of course. So you can go into the laptops, build an application yourself, walk away with a free trial of the entire Appian platform as well, or learn more about the Appian platform for your specific uh, user needs as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. A big round of applause. Malcolm, you survived a live demo. <laughs> <laughs> and again, yeah, you did really well. And again, guys, the booth is 441. They are giving away a Nintendo Switch if you want to check it out at Appian. Thank you. Our next speaker coming up in about 10 minutes will be from SendGrid.